The Pagani Zonda is my favorite supercar. But it's been around for a decade now. And for the last few years, Pagani have been promising again and again that they'll replace it with a brand new car. And now, finally, they have. It's called the Huayra. It costs 800,000 pounds, and it has a top speed of 230 miles an hour. The name Huayra comes from a South American god of wind. Probably not what you want to hear. What you do want to hear is that it has a six liter twin turbo V12 made specially for it by AMG which, once petrol is applied, makes 730 brake horsepower. And what you do want to hear and see is what that does. Another that. We'll do that again. The drama isn't just restricted to the speed. Because inside the Huayra, it looks like a Victorian's idea of the 23rd century. And the detail is beyond obsessive. Every single nut and bolt is made from titanium. The name badge takes 24 hours to carve out from a solid piece of aluminium. Each wheel, also hewn from a single aluminium block, takes five days to make. And look at this gear shifter. All the mechanism is exposed so you can see the workings. It's made of 67 different parts, all arranged just so you can hear that mechanical clunk of a gear being selected. You don't even need to use it, you could just use the paddles by the wheel, but they've put that there because it makes it more of an occasion. This fanatical attention to detail goes on and on and on. Even the body is more high-tech than the one you'll find on a Formula One car. It's made from carbotanium. And I even know what that means. Now somebody's told me. It's a blend of carbon fiber and titanium, which is incredibly light, but it's actually stiffer than carbon fiber and doesn't shatter when you crash, which makes things safer should you suddenly find all 730 bhp propelling you towards a hedge. Not every element, though, is quite so cutting edge. Pagani haven't gone with a fashionable twin plate clutch that so many cars use today because they do make for faster changes. They've gone instead for a more traditional single plate clutch because it's smaller and a whole 100 kilograms lighter. In fact, the Huayra weighs just 1,350 kilograms and has a power to weight ratio of 541 brake horsepower per ton, which is more than you get from a Bugatti Veyron. But where the Bugatti Veyron is four-wheel drive, this is only rear-wheel drive. And rather worryingly, we've now come to the part of the film where we must see what it's like going round corners. OK, now I understand the more infantile viewers, of which there are many, will now want to see me sliding the back end around. So, uh, here goes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Amazingly, you can corner this car like a half-wit and come out the other side alive. And that's because, in a Huayra, the black art of aerodynamics is watching over you. You see those flaps on the outside? There's two at the back and two at the front. They measure how fast you're going and then deploy to keep everything stable. I'm in love. But the handling isn't all down to the magic flaps. It doesn't feel big like a Lambo. And it's all been set up so well and made so stable that even I can corner it hard without hiding in the glove box whimpering. Oh, God, this is properly put together. The Zonda was always going to be a difficult act to follow, but the Huayra has pulled it off. It drives better, it looks better, and it hasn't lost any of the drama. On top of that, it also has something that its main rivals, Ferrari and Lamborghini, no longer possess. This car, and this might all get a bit culture show now, I know, has still got its innocence. Ferrari and Lamborghini haven't. One's owned by Audi, the other is a commercial machine for selling hats and key rings. Pagani is where those companies were 30 years ago. No corporate culture, no branded teddy bears. They just want to make a bedroom wall pin-up poster. With a touch of the madness we saw in the Lamborghinis of a few decades ago. And you can feel that. There might be some people watching right now who could actually afford one of these things. And it's the job of you, me, and everybody else to stand around and join together in a chorus. Do it, do it, do it.